Hey everyone, welcome back to that figure skating show. We are here with Kirsten Moore Towers and Michael Marinero, fresh off of the Olympics, will not be heading to the World Championships in Montpellier, France. Uh, welcome you two. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So right off the bat, uh, why did you decide not to compete at these World Championships? <laughs> Right off the bat, the hardest question you're going to ask us this whole interview. Um, I'm, I'm going to be super honest and candid. I think we've always done that, especially with you guys. And um, I think Mike would have liked to go to Worlds. And after Olympics and after the season we had personally, uh, for, for a number of reasons, one being just felt tired and felt like I, I couldn't fight enough fight that is required to compete at your best at a world championships. And I felt like our free program at the Olympics, though far from perfect and not what we're capable of, I felt free in it, which is something I don't get often. I'm very much a, a control freak and uh, have a hard time often staying in the moment. And so in this particular performance, I felt extremely present throughout the whole thing. And th that was the way that I wanted to finish our season in a way that I felt like we were in control of, uh, not coming home and having to kind of pick ourselves up and train for another three weeks for uh, an unknown, I suppose. And um, of course, the variables have changed since we made that decision. The world championships look uh, a lot different than they did when uh, the decision was made. But um, I still believe in my heart of hearts that this is what was Right, I can't speak for Mike, but obviously we are uh, two people required to make this work. And I do believe that it was the right decision for me personally. She said it all, takes takes two to tango. Obviously it's uh, a little bit tough now looking at the field, but uh, we're both excited and looking uh, to what's next and uh, just staying busy now, coaching all over the place. So just trying to keep myself as busy as possible, especially uh, for the next two weeks uh, while that world championship is going on in the background. Obviously, we haven't uh, announced anything yet. I know we've been saying all season, it's our last season, it's our last season, but um, excitement and, and feelings run high. And so I think we're going to have that, that talk officially after Worlds and even after Stars. I think we both just needed a break. This year was... Uh, so difficult as everybody saw and it started out with um in the summer uh with me having like pretty aggressive panic attacks for the first time in my life ever and uh, I haven't spoken about it before and wasn't sure I wanted to but um I think just the, the time is right and I've always been about uh sharing my story to maybe help others feel like um they can they can relate to me in some way, or I can relate to I can relate to them. Make everybody feel a little bit less alone. But this was getting so difficult that I was looking actively looking for other partners for Mike because I was just certain that I could not I could not do this anymore. So when you don't know that, it looks like we're just really struggling with our season. But what you don't see is that. Uh, it was the triple twist that was giving me so much anxiety. It's never been my favorite element. It's, it was not my favorite element with you, Dylan. It's not been my favorite element with Mike. It's just never been my friend. And for whatever reason, I was having um, just whenever I thought about putting my body through this thing that just doesn't make any sense in my brain, I was having just these like really aggressive and, and scary feelings. And so it came down to us not doing a twist at all for two months. I worked with a lot of specialists uh, in trying to overcome this. It took quite a bit of time. And even Mike and I did our first competition this season with a double twist for the first time ever in my life. I've never competed with a double twist before. Uh, we, we again completed double twists at team camp, uh, at our high performance camp in the short and free program because I had yet to try one. And so it had been from the world championships free program until about September 22nd was actually the day just before Dylan's birthday um that uh, we did our our first one and um we discussed what the cause could be 
it didn't make a lot of sense, but it's also not the first time I've dealt with something like this. Uh, because twist is not our best element, typically in the off season, we try to rebuild it to make it better. Because of this, and because we kind of do this type of thing, we leave the element for long stretches of time while we're working on the pops and the singles and the doubles. And uh, what happens to me then is that I convince myself that I don't know how to do it. And so because I believe I don't know how to do it, I won't allow myself to try. And that's the worst thing, right? When you won't let yourself try, it's more frustrating than anything. Even though I've done this element for 10 plus years, um, my, my body knows what to do, even if my brain doesn't. It was just, uh, the mind is a powerful thing. And um, I just, whenever I started to think about the thought of even having to try it again, I, I had a panic attack on the side of the highway to pull over my car and uh, called Allison Perkis, who uh, said, where are you? I'm coming to get you. Like these kinds of things that were um, scary, really scary and scary, not just in the realm of sport. And so when you look at our season in the scope of what we went through in the summer and me thinking, Mike needs another partner, I can't do this this year. It just, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that, um, that you don't see in elite athletes and in humans, really, never mind just athletes, just in humans in general. Well, first of all, thank you so much for your candor. And, um, you know, we've seen it so much from you, especially this season. And, uh, being forward about your mental health and as well as eating disorders within our sport and and everything like that so thank you so much for doing it here yet again thanks yeah i i think you know what really uh affected me so much this year was when simone biles in the summer uh at, during the olympics of course we all saw that she withdrew herself from her events and simone biles is the greatest of all time at what she does i've never been the greatest at all of all time at anything but if someone like simone biles can come forward and say i just can't do it it made me feel so much uh less alone and less ashamed really of my own thoughts they were really parallel timings it was the exact same time frame uh that i was having my struggles and so i just thought wow if she can just stand up and say that she can't do it then perhaps it's normal that this happens to people and I don't have to feel uh, so ashamed of kind of what was happening to me. And so just kind of pass it along and, and pay it forward and just try to help people wherever we go, essentially. Myself understand it's not an easy decision to make. It never is. Um, but, uh, you know, we did, we did know this was your last season um, we didn't expect the Olympics to be your last competition. When can we see you guys together again on the ice? Uh, well, we will be performing at uh, for the Stars on Ice Tour, which we're so pumped about. It's the first time for both of us. We've not had that opportunity before. <laughs> it's an exciting time for us as um, show skaters and uh, not to be so much in a competitive mode. Yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, being able to perform for Everybody who has supported us over all the years, it's been difficult, uh, family and close friends not being able to uh, get to competitions over the past couple seasons. So uh, being able to uh, perform and uh, thank uh, everybody that has supported us along the way is, is going to be huge. Mike and I are hoping to, to coach together and to teach seminars and to travel the country ideally and to share not only the knowledge that we have gained with the um, this many experts that we've been so lucky to work with throughout our whole career, but also because we believe that we're relatable to everybody, um, no matter the skill level or where you're at in your life. We really um, have had quite a bumpy career and um, we're not shy about sharing uh, our experience and that sort of knowledge that we've gained throughout all of it. Yeah, looking to step to the other side of the boards. Uh, as Kirst just said, we're planning on uh, hopefully getting a couple seminars. So if there's anybody out there uh, listening, we're in the works right now of planning out a, uh, a multi-day seminar involving a lot of uh, a lot of fun activities. We just want to share our passion for figure skating and uh, pass that along to uh, the younger generation of talented, untalented, old, young. We, we want to share that with everybody. And that's the ultimate goal of uh, this seminar that we are in the mix, midst of planning right now. So hopefully, uh, if anybody's listening and uh, thinks they could uh, enjoy that, uh, send either Kirsten and I uh, a DM or an email, and uh, we'll be sending out some flyers uh, soon, very soon. 
Hey guys, it's Asher and Dylan from That Figure Skating Show. And if you like this video, and don't lie, we know you did, there's actually more where that came from. So subscribe to CBC Sports and click it. Click, click, click it real good. good. Da, na, na, na.